How can I win the lottery tomorrow evening? You're going to have to increase your level of consciousness to be able to detect which store has within it the winning lottery ticket. You'll have to expand your awareness of synchronicity so you can follow the series of events that can lead you to such a manifestation. So it involves you raising your frequency of consciousness to become the living humanly embodiment of one whom wins the lottery. That factors in the energy of the ticket. That factors in the energy of the person whom is selling the ticket. That also involves the energy of the store and the geographical location the store is in. There's a lot of things you have to sort of download into yourself in order to be able to access that particular experience. So it's never impossible, but it might not be probable because perhaps you're not at a level of consciousness yet where it's possible for you to download all of that into you overnight. But if you are, then that's all you would need to do. And then you show up, you follow the bliss, you follow the synchronicities to the events that lead one to the acquiring of that winning ticket. So this might sound technical. Are there more simplified ways of being able to do this? Sure, there are. And that simply involves you just focusing on the underlying energy of that victory, of that triumph, of that winning, and following that. Now, that way is more yin. The original method we described, it's a yang approach, much more active, much more involved. This second approach of just sort of tuning into the ticket and following that, that's a yin approach. That might work better for you. But even that has certain technical things that must be learned. So just because it's a yin approach, it involves simply focusing on the outcome and its underlying energy doesn't mean there is no nuance to it. There's certain things that allow for that to be more successful. So Really, expanding one's consciousness is the short answer. Now, you might find that winning the lottery right now on the surface might look like the best thing you could possibly do for your life. And it could be. Who are we to say it's not? However, what we do know is this. Money is an amplifier. It expands things like a moon expands your emotion. Therefore, if an individual who contains a great deal of repressed negativity within themselves, comes into contact with a great deal of money, oftentimes that negative energy, which is connected to the subconscious, transforms into a type of tidal wave that breaches the limitations of the subconscious and washes upon the shore of the conscious mind. And it can cause an individual to act erratically with their money. And this is why you see many lottery winners crumble after winning, because they have not purified themselves sufficiently in a way that allows them to successfully wield that power because money is a type of power. It's an externalization of power. So they get this power amplifier, but it amplifies all of them, including that which they have not transformed. And as a result, it's not a sustainable win and it ends up creating chaos in their lives. So rather than focusing on winning lottery ticket, focus on ways that you can attract money into your life that's more relevant for the level you're at. Because excess of anything will poison you. Too much water will poison you. Too much air will poison you. Too much food will poison you. Too much money too quickly at the wrong time. Yes, we said wrong time. That can happen. It's a negative synchronicity. Could poison you energetically. So you need to pay attention to that. Instead of focusing on how can I get this much, which implies a lack mentality, focus upon how can I acquire really what I need to feel good? to feel safe, to feel supported, and to feel empowered in my journey. If you focus on that, your manifestation goals will have a stronger quality of realism, which means they're more probable to manifest because that means your logical mind buys into it. If your manifestational goal is more realistic, the logical mind says, we can do that. And then the subconscious amplifies that with its power and manifestations come to you more quickly. So that would be our simple yet multidimensional response to the question. Thank you for sharing it. Many people on your planet have asked the same question. So it's a useful inquiry. Thank you.